हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द वेब इंजीनियरिंग लेक्चर सीरीज एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द सर्वलेट लाइफ साइकिल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो व्हाट वी हैव सीन इज व्हाट इज सर्वलेट बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ द सर्वलेट देन वी हैव आल्सो सीन अबाउट द आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ सर्वलेट एडवांटेजेस ऑफ सर्वलेट ओवर सी एंड वेरियस यूजेज ऑफ सर्वलेट नाउ द क्वेश्चन विच कम्स always in the theory exams is servlet life cycle so this is very important and you need to understand the life cycle of servlet so what is servlet life cycle we will see uh, with the help of a diagram and then various functions that are present in each of the stages of the servlet so let me draw the diagram first and then we will resume with the video so whenever a servlet is called that is called whenever a request is made with the help uh, by the browser so the first stage is init that is the initialization stage and it is done whenever a browser calls the servlet then the servlet is in service that is servlet is working here and you can see there is a loop because a servlet can be uh, invoked many times here so that is why the loop is here and the method or the stage is called as the service stage and it is the most important stage of any servlet life cycle then once the work of servlet is done the last stage is the destroy so that is your servlet life cycle now we will see each of this stage in detail the first one is init init is called init is called only once so this method init is called only once and it is called when the servlet is created so you can write here like init method is called when the servlet is created so here your servlet is actually is in creation process servlet is created here so it is just like the applet where we have seen the init method the code for the init method is like this public void init throws servlet exception and then the initialization code goes here here you have the initialization code so this is your init method then we have the service and it is the most important method in any java servlet life cycle as i have already told the service method is the main method that performs actual task it is the main method that performs actual task so whenever a request is made from the browser whenever a request is made from the browser the servlet container the servlet container calls the service method to handle the request coming from the client clear so whenever a request is made from the browser suppose the request is made from the browser that is a client the servlet container the servlet container or the web server calls the service method clear so this is actually your web server and it is calling the service method to handle the request so the work of service method is to handle the request coming from the client
Now, the service method checks. There are different types of methods that can be used to call the server like post, get, put, delete. So the service method checks. Service method checks the HTTP request type. Service method checks the HTTP request type like get, post, etc. And in response calls the do get do post methods so depending on the type of method get post that is used to call the servlet from the html form the service method calls the do get do post methods now we will see the code for service do get and do post methods so the service method code is like this public void service and in this you have two objects of servlet request class and one object of servlet response This is the code for public void service that is having two objects request and response of servlet request and servlet response class. Now depending on the type of HTTP request type that is get or post, two different kinds of methods can be called one is do get and one is do post. So what I am doing is I am writing a complete syntax of do get and the Syntax of do post is exactly same, just you have to use the method name as do post. So the syntax of public void do get is like this public void do get. And the parameters are HTTP servlet request. One is HTTP servlet request. and one is HTTP servlet response and again you have to throw servlet exception and IO exception so it is actually very easy to remember if you know the syntax for service just you have to use HTTP here so throw servlet exception and IO exception So that is your public void do get and public void do post is exactly same just you have to use here do post. So it will be more clear when we will do the programming part and you will see that when you, you use Eclipse or any other Java editor or the IDE for programming of servlets then you can see that whenever we are creating a servlet the code for some of the methods like public void do get and init are automatically uh, added in your code. So now we have covered till service that is the request is coming from the client and the service method is calling the appropriate do get or do post method depending on the HTTP request type. Now the last method is destroy that is called that is called only once at the end of the servlet lifecycle. So this method destroy is only called once at end of servlet lifecycle. This method gives your servlet a chance to close database connection, halt background threads, write cookies or perform any other cleanup activities. 
so whatever cleanup you want to do whatever the connection you want to close you can close in the destroy methods and the code is simply like this public void destroy public void destroy and you here you can have your cleanup code so that is the complete life cycle of java servlets where we have started with the init the servlet is initialized here then the servlet is in service and here we have seen the service method which is calling the appropriate do get or do post method depending on the type of http request and once the work of servlet is done the destroy method is called that is used for cleaning up the code in the next video we are going to see the servlet architecture in detail that how servlet creates multiple threads of a uh, request Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such tutorials. Thank you.